These cigarette butts are being turned into teddy bear stuffing. Every year, people toss the ends of 4.5 trillion cigarettes. They often think the filters are just biodegradable cotton, no big deal. But what they actually are is a small hunk of plastic infused with formaldehyde, nicotine, and tons of other chemicals. Now, one company has figured out a way to stuff used butts into, well, toys. It also makes cushions and mosquito repellent. Could this model hold the solution for literally the most littered thing on Earth? And even if it's getting butts off of the streets and out of the waterways, how safe is it? We went to a city called Noida in northern India to find out. Workers here screen almost 7 million cigarette butts with a metal detector every month. The super scanner is used to detect if the material has any metal items or anything that is illegal or that can harm our team members. A network of hundreds of people collect butts off the streets of Noida. A company called Code Effort pays them about 300 rupees per kilo. That's just over $4. Code Effort delivers the waste to the homes of contractors where they pull apart the filters, paper, and tobacco. They hand off the tobacco to nearby farms to be composted. The paper gets dumped into this industrial grinder and treated with an organic binder. The sheets dry out in the sun, then get cut, packaged, and sold online or in local shops. The paper and remaining nicotine act as a mosquito repellent when burned. For the mosquito repellents, we have a brand name NMOS, that is an abbreviation for no mosquito. To use it, you just have to burn it from one end. The company is introducing scented versions sometime in the next year. The plastic fibers from the filters go into the same grinder. They are then soaked in sterilizing chemicals for 24 hours, which leaves them looking like cotton. The chemical mixture is a company secret, but the processes involved in recycling the butts have been independently certified as safe. And this is the last stage where the cotton is fluffed and carded into the prescribed form. And this is helpful to ensure that the final products like soft toys, cushions and keychains are very soft and comfortable. All these products are sold online and offline through various mediums. Naman co-founded the company with his brother in 2018, after he noticed all the discarded cigarettes outside of a friend's house. I am completely okay with anybody consuming cigarettes or smoking, but if they are unable to dispose their cigarette waste wisely, then that is a bit of a concern for me. The code in code effort stands for Conserve Our Depleting Environment. Cigarette butts have been proven to inhibit plant growth and destroy sea life. They leach nicotine and heavy metals into soil and water, and then take about a decade to degrade into microplastics that scientists say are already a massive problem worldwide. But cigarettes didn't even have filters when they first became popular in the early 1900s. In 1950, Viceroy became the first brand to feature a filter made of plastic fibers. It's a Viceroy. Notice how that deep weave filter smooths out the taste? In 1957, the Surgeon General published a report linking cigarettes to lung cancer. More cigarette companies rushed to add plastic filters. Today, 98% of all cigarettes have them. But the truth is that while filters do block some toxins, they mostly just make it easier to inhale. So far, Code Effort has recycled 300 million butts. That's a tiny percentage of the cigarettes that are littered every year. But it's a start and organizations all over the world are working on solutions. Some have proposed banning butts altogether. In January, New York lawmakers introduced a bill that would end the sale of cigarettes with single-use filters by 2023. San Francisco levied a tax on cigarettes to fund cleanup efforts starting in 2010. That same year, a company in San Diego called Green Butts developed a filter that decomposes in a few days. At the moment, a Canadian tobacco company sells the only cigarettes with Green Butts in Ontario. A green butt is an all-natural, rapidly biodegradable cigarette filter that breaks down in a matter of days. A pair of Dutch engineers worked with Microsoft to build an AI-powered robot that can identify and collect butts on beaches. Beach Bot, or BB for short, can spot cigarette butts, pluck them out of the sand, and dispose of them in a safe bin. And in France, the push to clean up cigarette litter is gaining traction. 
ça fait quelques jours que je vois ça sur, euh, sur Twitter, c'est un hashtag, le fils de poser le challenge. The government announced in July that it will charge cigarette manufacturers about 80 million euros a year to fund a cleanup effort. And one theme park a few hours from Paris trained half a dozen crows to do the job. C'est bien, c'est super. Still, cleaning up after people litter is only part of a solution. Et voilà, euh, on voit sur le parking, elle est détritue et les corbeaux sont en train de les ramasser. C'est pas normal, c'est presque à nous, humains, de faire attention. C'est le dernier, c'est le message final. But so long as people keep throwing their butts, Naman says he will keep going. I have the hunger to solve the problem of the society as well as boost the economy. I'm just a human being who is trying to better himself each and every day.